Hello, I'm Julia Child. Welcome to this volume of our video cookbook, The Way to Cook Soul Food. Today we are in the kitchen with George and his Spider Co. Spidey Chef. All right, people, this is the Spider Co. Spidey Chef. This is a blade that I've been looking at for a really long time, pretty much ever since it came out. I wanted the Spidey Chef because of its look. It's got a more refined EDC look to it. And I really like it. Plus, it has one of my favorite blade steels on it. But before we get to all of that, I got to give a shout out to White Mountain Knives. If you use the code GDEF, you get 10% off. No cost to you, but you get 10% off just for you watching this video. That's an awesome thing. Thank you, White Mountain Knives, for sending this knife for over for me to check out. Thank you very much. And let's talk about this Spider Co. Spidey Chef. I'm not gonna talk about it from the perspective of a knife reviewer, cause that's not who I am. I'm like, I love EDC kinda like you, and I'm on, I just wanna talk about this knife in perspective with the thousands of EDC knives that are out there. So let's get to it. This knife right here, what makes it so damn awesome is the blade steel, like I said, in the titanium frame with well, a titanium handle on this knife. Plus, I mean, it's coming from one of my favorite companies is Spyderco. They do it right. Got the spidey hole. You can thumb flick it. You see how snappy it is. I almost snapped out of my hand. So let me flip it around right so you guys can check it out. So... I'm gonna give you a couple of specs. I'm not gonna give you all of the specs, but the first one I wanna talk about is the blade length. The blade length is 3.32 inches. And basically what that means is you got a lot of cutting edge. A lot of cutting edge, depending, and you gotta look at where, where part of the, of the world you live, is this legal or is it not legal? I know for my area in Maryland, thanks to one of my subscribers, I can, you know, use this as an EDC knife. There's no blade restriction. But when I go into the District of Columbia, D.C., three inches is the law. So I got to use a different knife. So you got to, you know, know your knife laws. But, man, let's talk about this blade. I love the blade geometry on this knife. This knife, I think it's more, it's more camp chef knife than EDC. Just in my personal opinion, I use this knife for my whole damn Thanksgiving, <laughs> you know, my whole damn Thanksgiving. And the it's got the big belly on it right here. I love the that belly. So what you can do is you see how like the blade, it touches a flat surface in every way. You could rock it back and forth. You get your, you know, your celery, you get your potato, you get your apple, you're cutting it. Let's throw in some, some, competitive options some options out here well all these are my knives i love them all right here this is the cf elite benchmade bug out we'll put that up here this they, they, they're comparable i guess i gotta you know line it up like a real youtuber would you know but they're very comparable um for folks that are you know doing the edc i think you know you can see that this knife the the spidey chef is definitely bigger but that's a that's a size comparison. One of the knives that is also in the LCN, the Salt series. This is this knife is in the Salt series of knives. Is the Spyderco Native Five right here? This has been my fishing knife. You see, it's beat up. <laughs> it's definitely beat up. You know, I've been using the hell out of this thing all summer long into the fall, into my winter fishing now. But same type of blade steel. But, you know, you can see that the Spidey Chef has definitely got a longer blade. Same, the handle ergonomics, we're going to talk about that a little bit. The handle ergonomics on this thing is great. And it's also on the Native 5, they're pretty damn good. The way that this knife, like, just kind of goes into your hand i don't know i mean for a titanium handle the way that they designed it for my big hands i get all four fingers on it then my thumb just rests really nicely on the back now there is no you know jimping right there but that's for a reason there's no jimping because 
it's mostly a camp slash kitchen knife. So you don't want all of that to get, you know, food and stuff to get caught up in these grooves if you had, you know, some jimping on the back. We're, we're not done with, we're not done with the, the, the size comparison. I can get off on a tangent. This is, you know, this is the uh, Spyderco, damn it, Chaparral. So this has been my EDC knife for, I don't know, the last two or three months. Like if I'm going out and about, this is pretty much all the blade that I need. I like the Spidey Chef a little bit more for, you know, backpacking a little bit. You, you take it a long fishing trip. This knife is excellent for preparing, filleting fish. I, that goes back to the blade length. I almost would like to see this this blade a little bit longer, you know, for my for my bigger apples and tomatoes and you know, I did some sweet potatoes with this thing. You know, it, it, it was a little short, just a little short. I mean, I like the size, but I could see it being a little bit longer. Folks still think that just. I think a lot of folks still see this as a great EDC knife. I do too, but I think it's more at home on that camping, cooking, you know, food preparation side of things. Spidey Chef for a reason, because, uh, you know, for, for regular EDC tasks, the blade, the blade is not perfect. The blade is not perfect. You do have a little bit of point, but I think that that, that long belly, just, you know, makes it great for cutting food items. I'm going to roll in one more last size comparison. Now, this knife and the Spidey Chef have been told by a lot of folks that those are the two best options for EDC. This is the TRM Adam. I just got this knife. Just got it. Had to wait. Get on a waiting list. All this extra stuff. But I finally got one. This knife is excellent. <laughs> We're going to talk about this knife in another review, but the, the combination of these two knives together, I pretty much have all of my EDC camping, cooking, knife, cutting situations cut together. So this is an excellent knife too. It's a, these, these knives are about the same size when I'm looking at them. They're almost exactly the same size. I would have to like pull a ruler up to you know to see the size difference but like i said titanium scales the way that they've constructed this knife is just a it's a beautiful thing you know the just the lines on it you know look at that just look at the lines on this thing this it's just such a a good looking knife and the clip on it is the wire clip that's pretty much my favorite spider club clip <laughs> out of all of them the blade like i said i'll go back to the blade you got a full flat grind, so again, great for cooking. The spidey hole doesn't get in your way, so it's not a thumb stud, so that would get in your way if you're cutting. Those are kind of the, the, the things about the knife. Now let's talk about the real, the price of the knife. Now MSRP on this knife is 335, so not a little bit of change. It's a lot of money. This knife is a lot of money, so if you want a more refined, I mean, you could definitely feel it. When you when you look at this knife, you could definitely see it. You could you could see in the way it's constructed, the the screws, the way that they're countersunk down in there. Um, reversible pocket clip, so you can do left or right. Designer of this has a great little seal on this knife, and it's actually out of that same line that Techno, the Schlesch buoy, and then you have this knife, the Spidey Chef. Same designer, great design. The price <laughs> we were talking about the price, so. You can actually pick this knife up, and this is why I wanted to review it. You can still pick this knife up for $234 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description for White Out Knives and Amazon. But $234 is a great value for this knife. And that's hard to hear when you say $234, George. How is that a great value? You need you need to check it out. Once once you put the knife in your hand, you're like, oh, okay, I see what I see what George was talking about. There's a weight to it. Definitely, it's got it's 3.8 ounces, so it's not the lightest knife, but it's definitely not the heaviest knife. I love that it's a liner lock, so it just clicks into place. It's such it's such a smooth action. There is one drawback with this liner lock, if you can kind of see, the the lock in it moves way over. 
to lock in the blade. So that means that you gotta push a, a little bit extra, it's a little bit more resistance to pushing that over so you can get the blade to disengage. So that's one of the, it's not really a gripe, it's just the way that this knife is kind of set up. It's, it's a really strong lock on it. I mean, you can't really complain about it, but some folks would say that's lock stick, but I wouldn't say it's lock stick. It's just a, you know, just a quirk with it, I guess. So the blade stock itself is kind of thick. You're like, if we, let me line it up against the Spyderco Chaparral so you guys can kind of see. The difference is the Chaparral is like half the size. Overall, man, I really like this knife. Would I choose it as my number one go to, go to town everyday EDC knife? Probably not, probably not. It's kind of specific, you know, for me. I think this knife is really specific to you know, camping and cooking. I mean, this, the blade shape itself is, is telling you, I want to cut some apples. I want to cut, <laughs> cut some meat, you know, not so much, you know, I'm going to open up a package or cut a box. So this doesn't, doesn't have the shape or it doesn't feel like that's the best use for this knife. I mean, you could do it definitely, but I don't think it, I don't think it screams for that. I think the, the Adam, over here like I don't want to declare a winner for EDC but I think because I just got this knife I need to test it out but I think that Adam has a better shape for just regular EDC tasks cutting rope you know opening mail and boxes this is like let me stay in the kitchen let me stay as your food prep knife and let me let, let the Adam do all the other stuff so that's kind of my thoughts on the on the spider co spidey chef thanks again white mountain knives guys if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you who got a question leave it down there in the comments if you love the content subscribe to the channel it's totally damn free that's what i'm talking about and i'll see you guys in the next one peace